Hey guys, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. Hope your weekend is going well. It's Sunday, March 25th. I want to talk about two new crypto exchanges which are coming into the market. Now, this news is a couple of days old. It was reported by Coindesk, but it is significant and it also um, aligns with the facts and the reasoning I've been giving you guys about uh, being patient for the next bull run because the stage is being set. More exchanges are coming into the market. Uh, we see more businesses who are not from a crypto background are introducing uh, crypto trading and exchange services, right? Such as Robinhood, which was focused on stocks. Um, and the, the stage is being set for that big bull run. Now, we, can we accurately predict when that's going to happen? No. But uh, you should have confidence in seeing these businesses are doing this because they're not looking at what's happening now. They're looking ahead. Uh, we know that there are a lot of investment funds and hedge funds are preparing to dump money into the market. We know governments are warming up to crypto and many of them are, uh, you know, just introducing some soft regulations, nothing to kill crypto or kill the blo blockchain or coins or things along that line. So uh, we're seeing a trend, right? We're seeing the stage being set for that next bull run and for the growth of this market. So that's why you guys should have confidence and keep holding your crypto. But let's go into these exchanges. The first is Yahoo Japan. So Yahoo, obviously a well-known public traded company been around for a long time, will launch a cryptocurrency exchange in 2018. Can you imagine that? Yahoo getting into this. Now, specifically Japan, that makes sense because as I've reported to you guys many times, Bitcoin is a legal currency in Japan. They are hot and heavy about cryptocurrencies. Um, there's already uh, crypto uh, exchanges there. So now they're joining the market. Why? They want to make money. Um, and also they know what's upcoming, guys. Now, some more details here. Yahoo Japan is planning to launch its own cryptocurrency exchange. According to the Nikkei Asian Review, the Japanese internet firm will take a 40% stake in BitArg if I pronounce that correctly, Exchange Tokyo next month with a plan to build a new exchange using Bit... I hope I... I maybe it's not BitArg, it's B, uh, Bit -G, uh technology in approximately a year's time. BitARG is already licensed by Japanese financial regulator, the Financial Services Agency, FSA, the report says, and is expected to receive further investments from Yahoo Japan in early 2019. So uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't think there's anything as far as what cryptos they're going to list, but the fact is um, they're planning to do this. So this is going to be rolled out towards the end of the year. Um, and the other news, guys, I want to talk about is TSX Group subsidiary to launch a cryptocurrency brokerage. So a wholly owned subsidiary of Canada-based stock exchange operator TMX Group is launching a cryptocurrency brokerage. TMX said Thursday that the subsidiary, uh, Shorkan Digital Currency Network, had partnered with Paychase, I'm sorry, Paycase Financial on the initiative, which would focus on Bitcoin and Ether at launch, which is slated for the second quarter of 2018. So Q1 of 2018 is going to wrap up at, as of March 31st. So Q2, the second quarter, will start April 1st. So this is great news. This is happening faster than the Yahoo Japan news. It says here, uh, Paycase Chief Executive Joseph Weinberg called the brokerage the first ever public crypto brokerage desk by an exchange, saying the new partnership represents the true inst institutionalism excuse me, in, institutionalization of cryptocurrencies as an asset class. So this is big, right? It's a brokerage um, and they're treating it as an asset class and the first to launch the crypto trading desk. Now, I've told you guys on many occasions about uh, Goldman Sachs looking to launch a trading desk. There has been some reports um, coming from the folks at Goldman Sachs saying they're not going to do that. But... Um, that was the news, you know, at the end of 2017 to early 2018. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Let's see how it plays out. But this would put TMX Group, um, uh, you know, ahead of them. And once again, where there's money to be made, these guys are going to go. You know, the Wall Street guys, the investment firms, all of that, they will go. So that's why hold on to your crypto. The big bull run is coming, guys. Just be patient. Have confidence in the market and your investment. 
Um, let's see here. Uh, he went on to say, Paycase's partnership with TMX solved a major problem in the blockchain ecosystem. With this partnership, we have built the first major bridge between the crypto world and traditional financial markets. Big money is coming, guys. Uh, let's see here. In additional statements, a representative of TMX Group famed the move as one aimed at providing new kinds of services to its client base and is undoubtedly directly at a tapping some of the demand for cryptocurrency buys within the Canadian market. So once again, not making the biggest headlines, but when you read through between the lines here and you look at what these companies are doing, right? Why would a traditional uh, uh, stock brokerage and, and uh, you know, guys who deals with securities and things along that line as investments now move into crypto? Because there's money to be made, guys. There's more money that's going to be coming in, institutional investors, big money, um, and obviously you're going to have the retail investors who are going to participate. But the great thing about it, you and I being retail investors are ahead of the curve. We are currently sitting on crypto. Um, I, you know, you definitely want to diversify your port portfolio. I'm doing that. I, I've disclosed in the past, I own Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple XRP, uh, and, and you guys have seen my portfolio list. So um, I'm holding on to my crypto. I'm stocking up on a little bit here and there when the market dips, right? Uh, because I know it's going to go back up, guys. Uh, the, all the signs are pointing to that. So I expect for sure the market that we are going to hit that $1 trillion market cap. And uh, we could go beyond that. Because think about what happened in December of 2017. No one saw that coming. I didn't. I, if you knew that was coming, you, you had to be some sort of fortune teller or psychic or something, right? Um, but look at what happened. It, it went beyond the expectations of what people were, were expecting, right? Um, uh, you know, when I was holding a lot of crypto, like even Ripple, and Ripple was at, you know, 20 something cents for six to seven months, and then all of a sudden it shot up. And of course, we know Bitcoin went up significantly. I'm also holding Bitcoin, but no one saw that coming. So that's why you can't accurately, accurately predict these things, um, but you can look at the signs. What, what is the big money doing? What are the investors, the companies doing? And the signs are pointing to growth, to more investments, to more cryptocurrency exchanges, more folks coming into the market. So this is a great sign. So like I said, a lot of you guys who are already holding crypto have confidence in your investment. Um, I'm trying to share this news with you guys so you are understand and you see it from this perspective that these these things are aligning. It's not going to happen on our own time, right? Each of us would love for the next month the bill bull run to happen. It could happen next month. It could not. It could happen till the summertime. Who knows? So, but we take a look at the news and we try to make some predictions as best as possible. Um, but this is great news, guys. So, what do you guys think about this? I think two two major companies getting into the crypto market. Obviously, one really taking crypto investment to the next stage with as a brokerage firm, right? Um, so I think that's big. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe for more videos on cryptocurrencies. Talk to you guys later.